Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of our SQLite tutorial. In this part we are going to continue where we left off and uh, we'll be adding a c -sharp class and use that class as we add data to our data, SQLite database. Okay, so far we created five methods. We started with create the table, creating the table and database at the same time basically. We added rows records we deleted it, the rows and we updated the row and finally we've seen how to read the database okay um, so we're going to start off by adding a new class actually before we add the new class I want to open the project folder so let's go to solution explorer right click on our project and open the project folder in file explorer okay we are going to go into bin folder debug folder and grab our database here drop into our nice utility here sqlite manager okay um, I'm gonna just drag and drop this to see how many records we have how many rows we have in our database so we have two one with values of ID of 1 Jim Jones and then ID of 2 Jane Doe okay so having said that let's go ahead and add a new class to our project add select add and select class all right we're going to call this person class well, just person hit enter all right let's our class is almost ready for us let's change this to public let's add a couple two properties one for ID int ID and then a string of name okay class is good to go let's go back to our program class first we are going to comment this last method we uh, add it to our project comment that out and we are going to open expand our add row method so here we want to pass in the person object and send it to database from here okay so first we want to pass in we want this method to take in a person object let's call this person p Okay, and then we have to change this SQLite query to accept that value. So here in the value section in this line here, uh, we need to do a couple changes. First, I want to add a dollar sign to the beginning of this string to make a, to make it a string interpolation. And then instead of hard coding the values here, we are going to use the curly braces. To be able to accept the value coming from this person object so person that ID for the first one for the second value let's delete this Jill Jones and let's open another pair of curly braces and in here we'll pass in the person dot name okay so now we can create the ob object in the main method and send it through this parameter all right so I'm gonna uncomment this add method I mean add row method and in here it, either we can create the object in here or let's create the object right up top here so let's say person P equals new person let's say ID is uh, three since we have one two and name is going to be John Doe it's going to be string okay close this out so now we can pass the object we just created through here all right so let's run this and see what happens okay let's build and run ok 
Okay, build succeeds. Let's run this. Let's hit enter. Mm. Let's see. Close that. We should have. We have console read line here. What we didn't get this message row added successfully. We didn't get that. Let's check our database. Uh, let's refresh this and drop the database again. See if the row edit. And there you have it. Uh, I think there was a delay. It, let's run this again with different value. I want to see that row edit message at the end of this method here. So let's add a number four and let's change this to, let's see, we had three records, Jim, Jane, and John. Let's add a Jill Jones. All right, and let's run this again. Okay, so now we can see probably there was a little delay on the first one. All right, so the record was added. Let's close this out. And if you refresh this, let me see if I can just hit execute here. I'm going to refresh this, I think. Let's drop this again. All right, now we have four records, okay? All right, that's good. That's Now we can use the same logic for other methods, okay? So let's comment this one out. And let's uncomment the delete and pass in the person object, okay? And then let's expand the delete method delete row method let's add our dollar sign for string interpolation and let's change this value here the ID value and pass in the p dot ID mm, sure we didn't pass the object here so person person let's call this person just to be a little different you can use P you can use anything you want to so person that ID okay so now if we did right we should delete the uh, list the person that that starts with ID of four okay and that's Jill Jones all right so uh, Let's save this and run this. Okay, it says row deleted successfully. Hit enter. And let's open our database. I'm going to refresh this and drop the database back in there. Okay, now we have three, deleted the fourth one. All right, so that worked perfect. Okay, let's um, minimize this and comment this delete method. So now we passed the person object into our two methods, add row and delete row. Now we are going to do the same thing for the update row. Okay, so let's expand the method. All right, here, again, we'll add the dollar sign for string interpolation. Open our curly braces for the name. Uh, actually, let's pass in that person object again. Person P, keep it short. And P dot ID, well actually this is name, per name. And then ID will be P dot ID, okay. All right, so let's say 
we are updating this, right? This is an update method. So um, let's say we want to change the first letter of these two first records. Let's make them capital letters, okay? So Jim Jones, J and J here, and J and D here for row number one and row number two. All right, so let's change the ID to one and make this, what was it again? Jim Jones, so this is going to be Jim Jones, so we have two capital letters, J and J, and everything else here should be good. Let's uncomment the update method and pass in that person object. Okay. All right, let's run this. Okay, row updated successfully. I uh, got a little problem. What happened? Okay, minimized by accident, I think. All right, let's close this out and let's refresh our database. Drop again. All right, as you can see, our name was capitalized with the first letters. Let's do the same thing for record number two. I'm going to change the ID here to two, and the name is Jane Doe. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, updated successfully. Let's refresh again. Okay, beautiful. So we capitalized the first letters for the first name and the last name. Okay, so far so good. So basically we made our methods more flexible, more dynamic by creating this person object and passing through the methods um, and uh, adding or deleting, updating the records using this object. Now we don't have to change this SQLite queries every time we need to add a record or delete a record. Now we can use our person object and send to the parameter. Okay, um, I think that's it for now. Um, in the next part, we are going to probably um, get into the entity framework and uh, see how to use entity framework with SQLite database. Okay, until then, take it easy, have a good day.